Okay, guys, so we're going to unbox this DJI Osmo Mobile 6. So it's a little handheld iPhone like stabilizer, but I also think that if you do an app, it'll follow your face. And so I, I'll have to, I'll have to, I'll do some demonstration on that because I'm pretty sure that's one of the features, but we'll see. At least it does stabilize. So if you um, are recording something, you can use it to wander around and you don't have like the shake of your step or your hand shaking while you hold it. Box seems pretty good. I always like a good package like that. Let's put this over here. Uh, looks like some cables maybe. Yeah. No, a bag. It's kind of cool. And a, and a charge cable maybe. And something else. Maybe this is just filler. Looks like filler. Deliver the side. So it comes with a little cloth bag. Consistency is decent. A little quick start guide on how to use it. All right, I guess. Some manual, some store. All right. I'm assuming that's what holds your phone or something. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out in a second. We got this little handheld piece, I guess. Let me open this up. Oh yeah, this must be the, oh, it's a tripod. Look at that. And it's also a handle and it's got some magnets that kind of stick or something. Maybe it's not magnetized, but they definitely stick together kind of well. So it must have like a little notch or something in the, so it's nice, that's good. And then we got this guy, this must be the main unit. Wow, this looks pretty cool. How do you how do you open this up? Just yank it. <laughs> Maybe you got to turn it on and it does it itself. Let's see. I don't know how to use it. Okay, align the phone clamp and magnet. Oh, it's on. Or something. That had a little light there for a second. Very interesting. Looks like it should be a battery light. There it is, and it says it's fully charged. Okay, so quick start guide would say, open, rotate it. Oh, it says right here, lock and unlock. So is that unlocked and this is locked or other way around, I guess. There we go. Wow, look at that. So it's got like this whole stabilization idea. Oh, fancy. Check that out. All right, we'll have to put a phone on this and see what it looks like. That's pretty slick. And then I guess if you want a tripod, you can put a tripod on it like that. And you can do this. Check that out. You take this clamp off. Oh, and this little guy expands. So it is the phone holder. That's pretty cool. Does it know? Like, I don't have to. I feel like there. There we go. Has a certain fit to it. Oh, and it holds it straight up. Look at that. Look how it, like, orients the phone. Kind of. So is there a way to get it to be horizontal versus portrait. We'll have to figure that out. I would imagine there is. I don't have to figure out how to use these various things. Cool. All right. Well, I'll install the app and let you guys know what the app thing looks like. But there you go. Okay. So I wanted to demonstrate the face tracking capability here. So I've got my face cam looking at the camera that's shooting at me and then I'll switch between them or show them side by side. But you can see clearly that the camera follows me as I move. And so it's literally tracking my face and I wish I could show, I guess I could screen record, but it's got like little boxes around my face and you can tell that it's identifying my face as I do this and then, and then tracks it. So I can sit up and it goes up and down and go 
really low and it'll track you there and it's I mean it's not like super fast like if you move really quick you might throw it off like I just kind of made it go a little bit wild there but I don't know I'd say it's pretty rad um, and right now I have it on the front camera instead of the rear camera like if you were gonna go wander around and film somebody else you'd obviously use the other side of the camera but you can't hold the station like this guy here you can't hold this uh, it won't rotate all the way 180 degrees and so if you want to film yourself While still seeing the buttons and stuff on the controller right here You'd have to switch your camera to front, front cam bummer with front cam is that there's no zoom So like this is a little zoom knob. So if you were to turn this and it was the other Switch of the camera you could zoom in and out and unfortunately um, You can't do it this way. So if like I switch I'm gonna switch really quick Okay, so if I switch really quick I can control uh, this camera with the controller pad and I can zoom in and out and you can kind of see what I'm doing here so yeah so anyhow it's pretty rad I would say that it's a uh, quite a powerful little handheld video stabilizer slash tracking product yep so I'm um, pretty impressed with the product so far the weird part is the app has a, uh, a low rating for whatever reason not entirely sure why it has a low rating, but the app's got like three stars, 2,000 ratings. I haven't had an issue with the app yet, so I don't know if that's like rating when it first came out versus now. But the, the 30 minutes to an hour that I've been playing with it, it doesn't seem to have uh, any, any problems that I would recognize. Like, it seems to work pretty good. All right, so I just wanted to demonstrate the fluidity of this thing as you move it about. And I want to show you, I'll show you in the mirror too, so... You can see I'm holding the stand. It's got the tripod still on it. You can see that. Here, let me just zoom in on the tripod. There we go. So you can just kind of see the tripod still, right? And let's zoom out. Um, but I wanted to show you the stabilization. See, I can sway it. it. Does pretty good. I mean, if you sway too far, it has a problem. But obviously, if you just go like back and forth, it does pretty good like that. I can also zoom or change the direction as I'm using it. Got a little control on the side. That's pretty fun. I don't know what it's doing right now. There we go. It's fighting me. It does. It wants to, <laughs> it wants to stay. There we go. There we go. That's a little better. So using the, uh, the left, right control thing is interesting because what happened when I was doing that was it kind of tried to stay in one spot. And so maybe that's the point is like, it remembers orientation. I have to test that theory, but I would say overall this is pretty slick. Like the fact that it's so stable and you can move it around and your hand doesn't have to be, like you don't even have to hold your hand in the perfect spot. So, and it's just so smooth. So overall pretty impressed. I'll be using it for a few different things. Um, if I could figure out a, a good way to get my video straight from the iPhone to my computer, Wirelessly, I would use it as my webcam for doing recordings, but we'll see if I can figure that out. I know I can do a screencast and have a screencast type pickup. I've done that before, um, but it's not necessarily the most stable solution and it's time consuming to set it up. So, anyhow, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.